Welcome back guys! Today we're going to be repairing holes in the floor of Project MR2. Let's go and take a look. To assess the true extent of the corrosion, the first thing we need to do is remove the interior seats and carpets. Right, this is what caught my eye whilst I was underneath doing the fuel tank. And that's just what I've managed to poke through with my fingers. I'm sure with a persuader we can make that a little bit worse. So now I've had a bit of a poke around, it's time to go underneath, see how much further the corrosion goes and then decide where to make my cut. Right, that's all the rubberized underbody coating removed. So now it's time to get a rollock wheel, remove all of the primer that is underneath the rubberized coating, and then it's time to make a patch. So now that's all cleaned up, it's time to do a little bit of CAD work. And today, CAD stands for cardboard aided design. I've gone for a bit of Owl Pro Velvety Vanilla, so that makes this a vegan repair section. Hmm, how modern. All I'm going to do is pop it underneath where it needs to sit, check that it's level and everything where I need it to be, push it up into the contours of the floor and then simply mark round it. And then when we've done that we can extend outwards from our line by about half an inch equally all the way round and then transfer that to metal, cut it out round the square edges off on our patch and then we can start to form it to the shape of the floor and then it'd be time to weld it in. Right, that is now fully formed and ready to go. I'm only holding it with a jack handle, but if you push it nice and firmly with your hand, it's all lovely and flush all the way around. So now it's time to clean the primer off our patch and then start tacking it in. And a little look from the inside as well. Obviously we're gonna have to weld over those little holes, but this was just a spare piece of repair section that I found in the garage. So we are ready to go.
right that's three out of the four sides finished haven't cleaned the welds back at all but i will do before we go on to the next stage which will be seam sealer very very tricky up under there to get everything super tight there was evidence of when it was going really well and there's also evidence of when it got a little bit gappy and needed dressing back but it's real life and unless you've got the best access in the world mig welding has got the ability to go ever so slightly ugly but as you can see from the previous bit of footage it's penetrated all the way through all the way around so it's not going anywhere and it is structurally sound right quick coat of brushable seam sealer and it's starting to look like it never happened um i applied this with a spatula and then i brushed it in with an old toothbrush and i would love to say i was doing that because it shows that you can achieve anything with limited tools but the truth is that's all i had so now a quick coat of primer on the few exposed bits of metal and then a little bit of stone chip and it should be gone for good and there we have it a coat of stone chip protected and all done and one last thing that needs doing for the mot so there we go patch one of potentially a few more completed and that's not been too bad that's probably including stripping out of the interior has taken in the region of four hours but it's very fiddly lead on your back trying to weld upside down inside out with poor light and it's not what you want to be doing it's days like today that i wish i just paid somebody to do it but at the same time what's that cost me that was a repair section out of an austin healy and a few bits and bobs that we had lying around in the garage again it's a free fix and one less thing that's going to need doing for the mot will we ever get there in the small small time frame we've got i don't know but if you found this video helpful or informative please give it a thumbs up and if you want to follow the build and see more don't forget to subscribe the next time we see you potentially fuel tank fuel pump turning the key it's all starting to get quite exciting in my eyes i'm going in for a shower because i am covered in crap have a wonderful couple of days and we'll see you very soon take care